Our chapter today is found in the book of Exodus, chapter 28, verses 1 to 43. 1. Have Aaron, your brother, brought to you from among the Israelites, along with his sons Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar, so they may serve me as priests. Make sacred garments for your brother Aaron to give him dignity and honor. 3. Tell all the skilled men to whom I have given wisdom in such matters that they are to make garments for Aaron for his consecration so he may serve me as priest. 4. These are the garments they are to make. A breastplate, breastpiece, an ephod, a robe, a woven tongue, a turban, and a sash. They are to make these sacred garments for your brother Aaron and his sons, so they may serve me as priests. 5. Have them use gold and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and fine linen. 6. Make the ephod of gold and of blue, purple and scarlet yarn, and of finely twisted linen, the work of a skilled craftsman. 7. It is to have two shoulder pieces attached to two of its corners so it can be fastened. Its skillfully woven waistband is to be like it, of one piece with the ephod and made with gold and with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and with finely twisted linen. 9. Take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel. 10. In the order of their birth, six names on one stone and the remaining six on the other. 11. Engrave the names of the sons of Israel on the two stones the way a gem cutter engraves a zeal. Then mount the stones in gold filigree settings. 12. And fasten them on the shoulder pieces of ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel. Aaron is to bear the names on his shoulders as a memorial before the Lord. 13. Make gold filigree settings. 14. And two braided chains of pure gold, like a rope, and attach the chains to the settings. 15. Fashion a breast piece for making decisions the work of a skilled craftsman make it like the ephod of gold and of blue purple and scarlet yarn and of finely twisted linen 16 it is to be square a span long and a span wide and folded double 17 then mount for rows of precious stones on it in the first row there shall be a ruby a topaz and a beryl 18 in the second row a turquoise turquoise as a fire and an emerald 19 in the third row the jacinth an agate and an amethyst 20 in the fourth row a chrysolite an onyx and a jasper Mount them in gold filigreed settings. 21. There are to be 12 stones, one for each of the names of the sons of Israel, each engraved like a zeal with the name of one of the 12 tribes. 22. For the breast piece, make braided chains of pure gold, like a rope. 23. Make two gold rings for it and fasten them to two corners of the breast piece. 24. 
fasten the two gold chains to the rings at the corners of the breast piece 25 and the other ends of the chains to the two settings attaching them to the shoulder pieces of the ephod at the front 26 make two gold rings and attach them to the other two corners of the priest piece on the inside edge next to the ephod 27 make two more gold rings and attach them to the bottom of the shoulder pieces on the front of the ephod close to the seam just above the waistband of the ephod 28 the rings of the beast breast piece are to be tied to the rings of the ephod with blue cord connecting to the waistband so that the breast piece piece will not swing out from the ephod 29 whenever Aaron enters the holy place he will bear the names of the sons of Israel over his heart on the breast piece of decision as a continuing memorial before the Lord 30. also put the Urim and the Thobim Tumim, in the breast piece so they may be over Aaron's heart but whenever he enters the presence of the Lord thus Aaron will always bear the means of making decisions for the Israelites over his heart before the Lord 31 Make the robe of the ephod entirely of blue cloth, 32, with an opening for the head in its center. There shall be a woven edge like a collar around this opening so that it will not tear. 33. Make pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn around the hem of the robe with gold bells between them. 34. The gold bells and the pomegranates, pomegranates are to alternate around the hem of the robe. 35. Aaron must wear it when he ministers. The sound of the bells will be heard when he enters the holy place before the Lord and when he comes up so that he will not die. 36. Make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it as on a seal holy to the lord 37 fasten a blue cord to it to attach it to the turban it is to be on the front of the turban 38 it will be on aaron's forehead and he will bear the guilt in involved in the sacred grips gifts the Israelites consecrate Whatever their gifts may be, it will be on Aaron's forehead continually so that they will be acceptable to the Lord. 39. Weave the tonic of the linen and make the turban of fine linen. The sash is to be the work of an embroiderer. 40. Make tunics, sashes, and headbands for Aaron's sons to give them dignity and honor 41 after you put these clothes on your brother Aaron and his sons anoint and ordain them consecrate them so they may serve me as priests for to make linen and their garments as a covering for the body reaching from the waist to the thigh 43 last verse Aaron and his sons must wear them whenever they enter the tent of meeting or approach the altar to minister in the holy place so that they will not incur guilt and die. This is to be a lasting ordinance for Aaron and his descendants. So this is our chapter every day and also our Bible reading challenge.